Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Athena and I put out new videos on Thursdays and every other Monday. If you want to know how I got my hair like this, I will link it here in a card for you. It literally takes me 10 minutes and I'm really happy about it because I'm a lazy ass bitch when it comes to my hair. And I hate doing it, but this is like my go-to style lately because it just looks a little bit more put together than like poofy frizz, so... <laughs> You know. This top is not my robe, thank god we're wearing something different, but it's actually a pajama top, so I'm still very comfortable. Okay, so I got a few items from Fashion Nova. I have a like-hate relationship with Fashion Nova. We do not love her over here. We like her, she's okay, but I just see some major red flags with Fashion Nova. Um, first of all, they have way too many products, I think, to kind of like keep up with everything. Also, I know some of those ideas are stolen, which I really do not like. Third thing is they do not do full refunds. They only do store credit. That's some bull, absolute bullshit. If I paid with cash money flow, I should get my cash money flow back. Um, and then also like if things get lost, which this is kind of what happened with my package. Um, it's supposed to take 10 business days. It was longer than that. I contacted them. I had to contact them three times in one day just because they weren't finishing my, like the process that needed to happen. So I had to keep calling back, which was really frustrating. And then it's just like a really long time that they want you to wait. Um, you have to wait 30 days once your if your item is lost because it might come which i understand because i got my stuff but then after those 30 days you have to wait another potential 30 days for them to actually investigate that's two months of potentially waiting that's too much like ju oh my God. i just i really don't agree with some of the things that they do it's just stupid and i like their clothes i hate the way that the business works. I also have a like-hate relationship with their clothes. I'm usually a double zero, unfortunately. All of their jeans are slightly large on me because their smallest size is a zero, so that's kind of unfortunate, so I just kind of have to guess. Another thing I hate about Fashion Nova is the fact that once something is out of stock, it takes forever to come back into stock just because, again, they have so... I would probably say thousands of items they have which is insane to me because they have to keep up but this is why it's like once one thing is sold out it literally takes forever for them to restock things so the first thing i got which was the only pair of jeans that i got they are super cute but unfortunately they don't fit me which is so annoying this is the jacks distressed High rise jeans in a size zero. Um, they literally look massive just because they are a boyfriend jean. They do fit a little looser than some of their other styles. They are both distressed there. I love the huge rips. They are a little bit cuff at the bottom and they are a little long. Uh, the back looks like this, a little bit more plain. But anyways, this is like an inch or two too big for me, which is really unfortunate. I have not found a boyfriend jean that fits myself. I want to, they look gorgeous on the model, but that's the problem with any kind of website. Either the girls are, I find the girls on Fashion Nova all have big booties and big chest, tall. I'm 5'2", okay? I'm not that tall. I don't have a big butt. I'm skinny. So I just find it a little hard to see what it will look like on me. Um, and that's for like all websites. All websites kind of use their style of the one that they want. But I'm just like, can you just put like, I want companies. I want companies to start putting like a skinny person, a curvy girl, and then a plus. Like I need to see what it looks like. If I threw a belt on it, unfortunately, I'm so sad. It still doesn't work because when I sit down, there's so much extra crotch fabric. It looks like too much and it's like really crinkly and just like not flattering i got two of these shirts i love wearing little cropped numbers um what is that called 
during summertime. This one's black. This is the Kiki crop top in an extra small. And then I also got that in white. I haven't tried these on yet. I probably should to see if we're going to sell those or not. I'm going to sell the jeans. Or maybe give them to a friend that might fit. Then I also got two shoes from Fashion Nova, which thank God fit. The first shoe is just this one here. It is like a suede material. Um, these are a size six and a half. I like that they do definitely have a heel on there, not overly, overly high. And then it's just like really strappy. I don't own any shoe like this so i was like okay sure 40 percent off why not the other shoes that i got which i have been looking for everywhere because i think that they're so cute these what are these called these are called the realist sandal again in a six and a half they look like this they don't have a back strap they have a little toe just one for your big toe. Okay, so moving on into, I have literally said these exact words probably three times. So I keep talking about random ass shit. So take three. The first thing is the new Lancome Absolute Soft Cream Moisturizer. I work at Shopper Jug Mart. I am the person that looks after the brand so when the rep came in she gifted this to me which is amazing this is a 260 dollar retail 60 mil although a great and generous gift unfortunately this is not my skin type um, and it's going to be really, really rich for me. This is someone probably in their 50s, 60s plus, or someone who really just loves a luxurious cream. This has Grand Rose extracts. It is for firming, plumping, wrinkles, radiance, etc. So I think my mom will really like this. The cool thing about this is this new packaging is refillable. So if my mom loves it, I can just buy her the refill, which is awesome. But I in particular probably won't be able to get any use from that because you know i'm not 60. that's okay one day we will be the next item is in my nightstand that's why this is just an empty box this is the pixie 24 karat eye elixir with gold collagen it's the energizing peptide serum eye i particularly don't like eye creams I find them very thick and rich and I tend to get milia around my eyes sometimes and they take a very very long time to go away so I like either a light 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 cream serum or a serum so I feel just from like my expression lines and stuff I really feel like when I get older my eyes are going to age poorly I have a lot of wrinkles even already, so I just feel like I'm just going to age there fast. I don't know. I just, I look at my mom, I look at my dad, and their eyes are wrinkly, so I'm like, I have that. So, anyways, I don't use eye cream that often. I, again, should. This is the potent formula infused with aging defying ingredients and peptides to help smooth fine lines prevent signs of fatigue and reduce puffiness gently roll applicator under eye from inner corner to outer corner two to three times for extra deep puffing chill before use so i have used this a few times i definitely for me in particular two rolls one two doesn't seem like enough for me and i also do roll it kind of to inner corner to outer corner and a little bit on the lid as well. I do have hooded eyes, so again, I definitely feel like when I get older, they're going to sag more, so I just want to use it kind of everywhere. But like I said, two times, even three times, I don't feel like enough comes out of the ball. I don't know. I'm not sure how I really feel about this. We'll have to see about that. Falorga. We have heard so many women come and want this. So my manager ordered it. And we got some great sizes of samples and stuff. So my manager handed some out so we can try them. This one is the Hydra Filler Moisturizer. They have several different kinds. This one, although I am in my 20s, this one can still work for me because it's the pro youth 
moisturizer. So it's the um, preventative one. It's not the ones that already have other items in there. They have the the NCFS or something like that has actually one vial of filler in it, which is amazing. I think it's the only brand on the market that has one full syringe of filler in the moisturizer. So if you have tried everything on the market and you don't want filler but you're really close to getting it, I would try that line. I decided to pick up the Clarins Waterproof Top Coat. I only wear a waterproof mascara. I'm wearing waterproof right now. It is the only mascara I like. And to be honest with you, I actually really love drugstore mascaras. Also just because I find not a lot of high-end brands carry waterproof formulas. Some of them do, but it still also goes by the wand shape and the mascara itself. Sometimes I just don't like them, so I really just tend to go to lower end. But this supposedly is supposed to waterproof your mascara. I have tried this. I don't really know if it works. The only reason why I wear waterproof is because I have very, very straight lashes. Waterproof mascara holds a curl better. <laughs> The next item I got, I went to the NYX store here in my city. This is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. I used this in a tutorial recently. Again, I will link that in a card. So yes, this primer, it was pretty good. Um, we'll have to see. Um, it does have quite a strong scent to it. It does have chamomile, green tea, and ginseng root though. So those scents can definitely potentially be why it smells so potent. Um, I did enjoy it though, so we'll have to see. I've only used it once. Um, for Christmas, I got this set also with the third primer. I think it's over there in my drawer, but I got the set of the three little minis from Smashbox. So it's the original primer. This one is the duo with the primer and moisturizer in one, and then the primer setting spray. Um, I have used this quite a bit. I like to use it whenever. The next thing I found at Walmart, I also did a video using this bronzer. I will also link that for you guys. This is the newer Maybelline, newer? The new. <laughs> Maybelline City Bronze. I think I got 200, yeah, shade 200. It was pretty good, I'm impressed, I'm happy with it. It was inexpensive. I also picked up the Cover FX setting, I think just the regular one. The Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Light because everyone here freaking loves it. I do quite enjoy it, I have used it a few times. It's definitely very, very mattifying, but it definitely holds the makeup in place and it's very fine. Quite liked that. The other powder I got is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Glow Setting Powder. I've used the original one, I love the original one, but I wanted to give this one a go just because I also really like a dewy look. I definitely don't feel like it holds my makeup as well as a more mattifying one of course, but it is still really nice. Another powder that I have is the Elise Watier pressed um what is this called i don't know i forget <laughs> they don't have very many colors i think they have actually they have more colors now they have nine shades now i think this one um is definitely a little it doesn't look it but it is darker than my skin tone so i'm going to have to use it when i'm more self-tanned but just a basic setting powder. Um, also, I really wanted a black lipstick, mainly just for YouTube. I kind of wanted to do a look with it. This is the NYX Liquid Suede in number 24. Does you have a name? Alien. Another thing that I got is the Lee Swatier V Element mascara. This is a non-waterproof mascara, so again, I could use that Clarins top coat. Um, it is definitely a wet formula. I don't know if I like it. I don't like overly, overly wet mascara just because 
I find them clumpier and they really drop my curl. Next we have too many concealers, okay? Too many. So the one that I have the most of is the Maybelline Fit Me's Girl. I don't know how this happened. Well, actually I do know. It's a very simple explanation, I promise you. So four of these colors, these are all the same. They were $3, so I was like, yes. So let me, one of these is open, so let me swatch that. This one is quite fair. I don't think that I really like it that much, unfortunately, since I bought a hundred of them. I normally wear shade 15. This is a new one. I don't want to open that. And then also shade 10 I use more for my self tan. And then this one is shade 3 in the Sephora brand. I think I might try shade 2 just to see. Sometimes I feel like this one's a little matchy matchy. I love this concealer. It is a really lightweight gel serum concealer. I personally prefer more of a medium coverage concealer. I'm not really a full coverage bitch when it comes to that. Another thing that I purchased recently was the new L'Oreal, what, I don't even know what these are called, doesn't say, don't know, 916 I Create is the shade, it is definitely a more like thin, watery, kind of lip. This one was really the only one that I liked in the whole collection. Oh, I also got this really pretty shadow. This is from Lancome. This is unfortunately discontinued, but this is all made up. I definitely want to do a look with this. Okay, next we have another mascara. This is Lancome Hypnose Drama. This is a volumizing mascara. Again, this one is not waterproof, but I want to try it because they sell really, really well. So I will have to try this with, again, that Clarins top coat. I also did get the regular Hypnose, but I'm giving it away because I know I don't like that one. That one's more of a buildable volume one, but... It just takes too long for my liking, and again, it really droops my lashes. Let's do this. This I saw, and I bought it because I have no self-control. This is the Nude by Nature Glow Beach Glow Liquid Highlighters. I love liquid highlighters. My favorite is High Beam by Benefit, and this just looks like this, so it is really easy and convenient. Oh, this color is 2 Sunshine. Let me give this a little sake. I remember it being quite blinding. Yeah, really pretty. The next thing I have here is a Dior liquid lip. This is 427. The L'Oreal has more pink in it where the Dior one is a little bit more of like a brown coral even though it still has like some pink in it. All right, next we have some Dior blushes. These again I also got when I was helping the rep sell. She brought a box of goods and said every item you sell you can pick out of the box and we're like amazing. So I have three. My favorite one is this one. This one is... Why are you staring at me like that? I need to, I need to, uh, okay. Let me make a quick phone call. This is my favorite color. This one is in 219 Rose Montage Shimmer. Let's put that here. This one has a really, this is like my go-to blush for any kind of brand. It has a pink with like a gold sheen undertone. The next color I have is this one. They are kind of similar. This one seems a little bit lighter in the pan and this one has like that really shimmery undertone. So let me swatch this one. This one is 28 Actrice Satin. They look really similar but 
oh there we go this one has more of like a coral undertone this one's a bit more pink and then the last blush i have is like a hot hot pink this one is 47 miss satin i don't really feel like they swatch overly well they're definitely all a little powdery and a little patchy but they do look a little nicer on the actual face. So probably the newest blush to my collection actually. I have the other three of these colors. This one is a number 11 Blossom Time Rose. This one is the only one of the four that kind of has a shimmerier, shimmerier? <laughs> well yeah, shimmerier undertone. I love how they smell. I feel like not everyone will like it, but it really brings me back to my childhood. This one's more of like a natural color. Okay, let's continue on with Milani. Um, so I got two... Yeah, I got two of the highlighters. These guys were $17, I think. $17.49, which is much bitch afterglow and sun glow so let's swatch these i'm really excited about this shit better be good or i'm coming for you milani Ooh. okay very nice we like it 17 dollars okay still maybe reduce it a little but cute this one is the lightest color they offer this one is more of like the champagne gold little darker might be a little too dark for my skin tone but definitely can mix those i got a new liner i had to throw out my other ones because i got that massive sty problem and this one is waterproof which is what i wanted because again we only wear waterproof over here this is the milani eye tech extreme liquid eyeliner in blackest black the tip looks okay let's see that's nice this is the amore shine liquid lip color in 11 charming they do have i think like 10 or so colors there is a scent on these peppermint i think which i hate um it's kind of like a mauvey pink with a shimmer to it hmm this one is enchanting that one's definitely a lot lighter a little brighter this one might be a bit more up my alley from the maybelline x puma collection this is the color 10 epic and they are the superstate matte ink and that is what that looks like this one kind of looks like these two had a baby it'd be this because it's not that pink, but it's not that brown. Then I also picked up the highlighter. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. It's really pink. It does not look pink at all. Oh, I see it now. Okay. Hmm. Returning this probably. Um, so the overlay... Bitch, open. The overlay looks gold and then once i swatched it you can see that whole center area kind of now has like a pinky tinge hmm that's not really what i wanted lee swatier havana bronzer i don't think i've used this yet no i just matte havana havana unana half of my heart is i don't i don't see i think it's just a regular havana it doesn't say matte on it um, it's pretty. I think it will definitely work for my skin tones. I am quite fair. They only have three color of bronzers, but they do sell pretty well, actually. Moving on, I have a lipstick from Lancome. This I got in, I think, like a set of some kind. This is the Color Design 338 Seal the Deal Matte. They're really pretty, actually. Let's put that here with the other lipsticks. A little brighter, um, maybe nice for layering a lipstick or closer to the spring summer. Wow, that Maybelline one is really staying on, girl. 
Most of these lip liners were a dollar. A dollar. I took the bin and I literally grabbed one of each because they're a dollar. So I was like, yes. We got mauve, peekaboo neutral, mahogany, natural, pale pink, burgundy, nude pink, nude suede shoes. Also, a little while ago, I picked up the Too Faced face and eye palette. Again, she was an impulse buy. I can't really get too much use out of this one. She is a real dark for my skin tone, but I like to use the other three. Really love this highlighter. It smells like peaches. This one is a really nice peach with gold glitter. This one is, again, my favorite, the pink with the gold undertone. I also recently picked up the Marc Jacobs Omega bronze thing. Tantastic bronzer. It's the coconutty one. Doesn't really smell too much like coconut to me, to be honest with you. It's really nice. I feel like the packaging, although real sleek, bitch, it's, it's a little big, okay? Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. Oh, that's the name. I was looking for the name all over on this when I did my tutorial and I could not find it, but we found it. This is the Pink Sands and this texture reminds me a lot of Kylie texture. I also picked up the Clarins Ready in a Flash Brow and Eye Palette. This came into work. This is a limited edition for the spring. It has a cute little hologrammy thing. I want to do a video with this. There's not too many colors in here. These two are brows and then you have four shadows. I'm interested to see if these guys will work as shadows. Um, they might not because they might be a different formula. They don't look like it though, so we'll have to just see. And the last and final item is this honestly obnoxious Tarte blush palette. Can someone from Tarte explain who made this and why? Like why, why is it so thick? Why is it a clutch? I'm not gonna put anything in here to damage the product. So what, what, what is the purpose of this? Very poorly designed, stupid, really dumb, honestly. Anyways, oh my God, I forgot a bag from Winners. I love Winners. The first thing I have from Winners, I keep losing mine, so I keep having to buy them. This is the e.l.f. Um, makeup cleansing brush. This originally is $12. I got it for eight. Not that much of a savings, but that's fine. Lexi brushes. These are the Lexi Kabuki Rose Gold Collection. I have several of their other brushes and I really like them. And then the actual last thing is a L'Oreal face mask. I have the yellow one. This one is the purifying and mattifying one. I uh, always check your products from winners. Make sure that no nasty little fingernails are in there. This was $10 at Shoppers Drug Mart. These retail for $17. So I was like, okay. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and turn on your post notification. And I will see you in my next video.